Welcome to May Tree Retreat, and I cannot wait to show you guys this dome because it is incredible. So today we're staying in the beautiful Maytree Retreat. This is located in a unique spot around Murray River. It's only a short distance to a place called Poverty Beach, which is known for its beautiful white sandy beaches during the summertime. And it also overlooks the Murray Five Islands and all those are protected by Island Nature Trust. And the property surrounding your dome is also protected. So you enjoy the waterways, the animals, wildlife, all that fun stuff that you wanna enjoy in nature is all protected. So it's also great knowing that whenever you're staying here, so to get to the dome, you'll be going down a long dirt road, which is great because you feel so away from any other place. And this property is far off the main road, so it's gonna be very quiet and secluded. And you're gonna hear nature sounds all around you while you're staying. And you also have a walking distance to your own beach access. There's actually a sign there that has the May tree beach access. So that's great in the summertime whenever you're coming here with your loved one. If you wanna go and enjoy a walk on the beach, you can do so. What you're gonna notice when you first get onto the property is to your left, you're gonna see lots of wood that's packed and piled up for you to use for the outdoor fireplace and also the wood stove that's inside the dome. This is great because you don't have to worry about going scavenging for wood. There's plenty there. There's more than enough there for you to enjoy and have fires all day and all night whenever you're staying here. They also have two nice cozy blue chairs so you can sit there, relax in nature outdoors, especially in those summer and fall evenings. Those are my personal favorite times to enjoy the outdoors, especially an outdoor fireplace. So if you look under the dome, they offer two bicycles here, which is great because if you wanna use a different means of transportation to either go to the beach, you can also go to Poverty Beach, which is just a little bit of a pedal away. It's great. Or you can just pedal up and down this dirt road. And that's honestly what I've been doing because I don't pedal that much. Um, I don't even own a bicycle, but whenever I came here and I seen they offered that, I definitely wanted to because it is such a great activity and an awesome way of transportation, especially if you're going somewhere relatively close. I find any time I'm staying in the dome, I always wanna to go to the front and just look at how beautiful it is, how open that front part of the dome is where you're going to be able to look at nature, sitting on the couch, enjoying a cup of coffee, reading a book. And this spot is overlooking the bay and it has the sun setting there, which is amazing. There's a beautiful sunset the other night. It honestly just feels like you're in another world at that time and it's just incredible. So heading up on this nice deck, they have a beautiful black railing with all this plain glass along it as well, which adds a nice modern sleek look to it. They have a barbecue here so you can enjoy outdoor cooking any time of the year. They also have two nice chairs here to sit down, relax, enjoy your food, or in those warmer months, those mornings would be great sitting there enjoying a cup of coffee, eating your breakfast. So if you continue past the chairs and table, you will see your full private hot tub that's surrounded and dangled by these beautiful cafe lights that add just that extra beauty whenever you have it in the evening time, whenever those are lit up. And it's just an incredible experience when you're staying in a property and they offer that hot tub, especially if it's in the woods and we can watch the sunset through the trees and it's just an experience like none other. So let's head inside the dome now. You're gonna have this nice sturdy stainless doorway and when you walk in, you're gonna be greeted with this beautiful open concept kitchen living area. Now this dome is roughly 500 square feet and the utilization of space is amazing. When you first walk in, you look to the left, you're gonna have a little hallway that's going to lead you to a beautiful bathroom, which is going to be home to some beautiful tiling, hex tiling on the floor, some nice white tiling along the back of the shower. Everything has that nice black accents with the paint in here and the modern feel. It just has that sleek modern design and it still feels cozy as well, and it's great. They also offer two robes that you're able to use outside whenever you're heading to the hot tub and transferring back inside because if you were staying here during those winter months you're probably not going to want to run through the snow and the cold to get to the hot tub and get back to your dome so that's a great additive to have especially if you have an outdoor hot tub Now making your way outside of the bathroom, you're going to enter your kitchen and dining area. The kitchen has a nice L countertop. 
nice tiling as well. They have all an open little shelf, so you have all your plates and your cups, everything that you need. They have a mini fridge, they have a toaster oven as well, a nice sink. They also have this nice area to make coffee on, which is enjoyable for those mornings. Instead of just putting a cup in and getting ready to it, you actually get to put a little bit of that work in, which I think is really cool. Just off the kitchen, you're gonna have two chairs and a table to enjoy. And there's a magazine on the table, which is all about Maytree Retreat. This is gonna give you lots of information about the owners, the surrounding areas, what to expect, what to do whenever you're staying here. So it's a great little tourist guide whenever you're staying at Maytree to look at that and plan out your itinerary. So heading off into the living area, you're gonna first see a beautiful wood stove, which we had going the whole entire time because nothing is quite like having the heat than a wood stove, especially in those fall and winter months. It's just incredible to sit there, relax, read a book, enjoy a cup of coffee, and keeping toasty warm by the wood stove. And something great, if you're running low on wood, the wood that's out by the trees is mainly for the outdoor fire pit, but underneath the dome, just off of the steps whenever you come down and enter, you will see some wood there as well. And that's gonna be mainly specifically for the indoor wood stove. So in the nighttime, if I need to run to get some more, it's very close and it's very easy to get to, to make sure we have that heat going 24 seven. So heading off into the living area, which I think is incredible because not only do you get the perfect sit down view of the wooded forest that you have in the sunset that's off of the bay, you also have a nice cozy couch and then they also have a nice accent chair. And this couch, I love the design, the color of it and it is very comfortable. They also have a nice little coffee table that has some affirmation cards, which I think is very cool and it's a nice added twist to it. You can read those, get some motivation, get some inspiration while you're enjoying your breakfast here. They have a nice little plant here to add some pop of greenery. They also have this wall to the left and it is filled with shelving. They also have a record player, which I think is awesome. We're listening to records all night. They have records that we never heard of, but we're going through them and we actually really enjoyed them, which I thought was nice to be able to just listen to different music. It was more relaxing and chill music, which I thought was perfect. They also have lots of board games here, which is great to be able to play and have those nights by the fire and just sitting down playing whatever game that they have to offer, which I thought was great. They had a good assortment of them. My wife and I definitely enjoyed playing a few games to help get the night going. And finally, just behind that wall, you're going to have your one bedroom, which is home to a beautiful queen bed. You've got a couple nightstands. This bed is incredibly comfortable. And not only the comfort, but when you wake up that next morning with that sun ray shining through the top of the dome. Now, nothing is better than waking up in the morning in that bed, looking up first at the skylight that's open on the top of your dome, but also you look in front of you and you have that beautiful outlook of the forest and the quiet nature feel that is just perfect whenever you come and stay at a dome. You also have some nice art on the wall and some cubby shelving space for extra blankets, pillows, or greenery as they have up here. They have a few little green plants. So if you wanna make this spot your next destination to stay here on Prince Edward Island, definitely check out the description. It's going to have the link to their Airbnb, their website, and any more information about domes as well, which I think is really cool. That'll all be in the description. Their Instagram will be in there as well, so you can go check them out and give them a follow. This place is incredible. The owners are very kind, and it's going to be an experience like never before. So thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tour.